listening to the concerns of community leaders, small business owners, teachers, and residents. And when I haven't been here, I've called community and business leaders to ask what we need to do to improve the situation. In these conversations, I've learned more about the many issues that have been building up for many years uh, that local, state, and federal leaders need to confront. We need to make North County a focus in public policy debates both here and in Jefferson City. And that time will come very soon. But one of the first things that we need to focus on is helping businesses that were damaged, destroyed, or looted since August return to serving their community. I want to do my part to help these small businesses, the small business owners, so the area doesn't lose them forever. So I'm thrilled to partner with the Regional Business Council and North County Incorporated to start Ferguson Rebuild to provide non-governmental grants to area businesses. When I talked to small business owners in Ferguson, Delwood, and the surrounding area, many of them told me that they didn't know how they were going to reopen their businesses, or in some cases, keep their businesses running. They have poured their heart and their life savings into their businesses. And many can't afford to take on additional debt, even with help from no interest loans. We all need to remember that these business owners were simply collateral damage in this situation. The unexpected expenses they now have are no fault of their own. So we should do what we can to help them without saddling them with more debt. So to help start Ferguson Rebuild, I am going to uh, donate $25,000 from my campaign account. I'm also pleased to announce that Worldwide Technology has agreed to match my contribution. Along with the Regional Business Council, I will work in the coming days and weeks to secure donations from Missouri business leaders who have been looking for a way to help. We're also launching FergusonRebuild.us, a crowdfunding page that will allow people across the region, state and country, to contribute to help these small business owners. So I want to reiterate that this is not a government program. No state or federal tax dollars or grants are going toward this project. This is about Missouri stepping up to help Ferguson, Delwood, and Jennings rebuild, and I'm proud to help lead that effort. I want to let a few other people who are going to be <laughs> instrumental in getting this done come up and say a few words now. First, Kathy Osborne, the Executive Director of the Regional Business Council, who is my partner in this initiative. called us about a week ago and said that he wanted to do something to bring in new money to the Reinvest North County Fund. And so this is a new initiative to help bring in uh, new money to the fund. Thus far, we've raised $3,500. We've distributed $250,000 to 34 businesses and to four school districts. Uh, so we're very pleased that uh, this new money will be coming in. And I've got a couple of surprises as well for the secretary today. What we found in working with small businesses is they, they want to be here. They've been here. Many live in this community. And so our goal was pretty simple, to keep people in business as we begin to rebuild this community. Um, and, and we think by grants from the private sector, no governmental money, directly to businesses, is a good way to help them. What have we done? We've helped them with things like boarded up windows, or getting the glass back in, or getting their cash measure put in place, getting their inventory in, uh, often paying utilities. Let's be frank, businesses have to go month to month, so helping them with rent and utilities, so some of the very basic things. Our partner in this has been North County Inc. and Rebecca Zoll. We wanted to partner with an entity that was here and had been in North County for a long period of time. So going forward, uh, it is our belief that business is very important as our schools, as our churches, and we need to rebuild the community, and this is one uh, way to do so. Uh, I received a call from somebody who had read about the fund. His name is Paul Land. He's from Columbia, Missouri. He was touched by what we're trying to do for small business and for the schools. He grew up in Ferguson. So he got a check to me yesterday for five thousand dollars. Now I'm not going to give it to you, Secretary. I'm going to give it over here, Rebecca Zoll. I'll take it. But that's five thousand dollars. Everything he expressed was his genuine love for his community, his genuine concern, and his genuine wanting to be part of rebuilding uh, the community. We have members of the Young Professionals Network here. I won't introduce them all to you. They've been very active in our initiatives as well. There is a couple people I want to introduce. One is Tim Lake, President and Chief Executive Officer of First Bank. Tim, where are you if you come forward? Tim has a check as well for Rebecca today. Previously, they have given $35,000. And they have an additional check today. So Rebecca, if you will accept that check. Thank you. 
fantastic. So, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. First committee that looks over all the allocations. One of those is Mike McMillan from the Urban League. He'll be talking to you in a second. I also want to introduce you to Carmen Jacob from NextGen. The Hispanic Chamber and the Asian Chamber have both made gifts to the fund. She's a member of RBC and just wanted to thank her for her support of the fund. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kathy, and, and also I want to thank all the members of the, the Regional Business Council who are with us today and otherwise uh, for their leadership and really for uh, being an eager partner in this initiative. Um, now I'd like to bring up Rebecca Zoll, who is the President and CEO of, of North County Incorporated, to say a few words. because of recent events. At no fault of their own, their livelihood has been impacted and they've had to let go many employees that quite frankly have been with them a long time and they actually know them more as family as employees. So I can't speak um, strongly enough at what a huge difference the um, generosity of uh, the secretary and of the corporations, First Bank, everyone that has already donated to the Reinvest North County Fund and now will have another avenue to um, donate through Secretary of Candor's um, Ferguson Initiative, Ferguson Rebuild Initiative. So um, on behalf of North County Incorporated and the North County business community, Thank you. Thank you to everyone who has already stepped up and is making a difference. Thank you to Secretary Kander for uh, showing what a true leader in a very difficult time looks like and also <coughs> speaking out on behalf of our small businesses and letting people know that these small businesses really do need your support at this time. And, and, the, and I also think that we owe the Regional Business Council, who is a, uh, a business council for all of St. Louis, the St. Louis area, but when Kathy reached out to me, a few uh, months ago and said, Rebecca, we want to help you. We believe in North County. We believe in these communities. We know Ferguson and Delwood are strong, good communities, and they have great businesses, and we're going to give you a hand. It, it changed the way we were able to really immediately start helping the small businesses. And now, from the generosity of others stepping up, we're going to be able to do even more. So thank you so very much. Done and, and for your leadership, it, it's uh, been crucial and it means a lot. Um, finally, I'd like to let my friend Mike McMillan, who's the president and CEO of the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, say a few words. Uh, first of all, I want to thank our Secretary of State, Jason Cannon, for his leadership and vision in creating this fund. It is imperative that we all come up with unique and creative ways to be of assistance. It is also imperative that the government, the business community, and the not-for-profit community work together. And as a result of that, Mr. Secretary, I wanted to announce to you this morning that the Urban League will be contributing as well. So we will be making a $5,000 contribution as well. Kathy Osborne for her leadership. She had the vision and the forthright work to come out initially when everything really was very negative in terms of everything we were hearing in St. Louis and create this fund and work together to bring all the partners to the table and has really had the vision to keep this going and has raised a significant amount of money to help the small businesses in this community, most of which are African American or owned by people of color. So the Urban League is truly grateful for the work that she has done and I also want to thank Rebecca. She and her staff have worked tirelessly to gather the information and to compile all of the data to make sure that all of the people in this community receive as much assistance as possible. The Urban League also pledges to support any of the employees that have been impacted by this. 
We want to help you throughout this holiday season with all of our programs and social services out here at our two offices in North County so that we can provide the assistance for you that you need to make sure that the individuals who have been impacted within these companies have the assistance that they need. So we pledge to continue this process because it will take all of us working together to make the difference. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, and thank you for your help and all you do for the entire region. St. Louis is really lucky to have you.